Welcome to session 14. Um, if anyone remembers what happened last time, I would appreciate a... Oh man, there uh, is... Yeah. We were running from the evil sneaky goblin that harassed us so much. We put up traps, <laughs> barrier, well mostly barriers, and we hid in a little half cover, coverlet cave thing. <laughs> and yeah, we were trying to get we got Josh or what's your name? Eldrick. Ark, Eldrick. I almost said Arkmere again. Uh, we got Eldrick's <laughs> spells back, and then we're like, all right, we gotta go. We went to the evil bog of beetles and birds. Uh, ooh, that's good. Bog of beetles and birds. <laughs> evil bog of beetles and birds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, where we were trying to lure him over here, and I don't remember how it ended. Did we kill him, or did he? Burn? We got to the other side and ran away. I hit him with a fire, like an yeah, ice ball, I guess. Bullet. Yeah, you hit yes. him pretty good, right? Yeah, forty. And it seemed like forty-two like, hit points. Fuck off! Ah. All right, and that's all I remember. That's a appropriate summary. Anyone else have anything to add on to it that they feel was important? Um, evil bond of beetles and birds. Yeah, we, I mean, uh, the two guys were um, suspicious of um, Bill Meal or whatever, uh, and I had to get them to try not to kill him at least for now. No, he had to defend. Accurate. I'm surprised he did. Anyway. It was it was much more about uh, hey, there's a scary monster chasing us than defending Domiel. But yes, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they agree with you. Anyways, um, everyone take one lucky point. Marlin take two, and we will leave off or go on. From where we left off, you have just escaped the log, leaving behind the angry ashen goblin. And uh, it shall be done. Yeah, we're just contending to run into the woods. Uh, All right. Yeah. And a You guys are getting further along now. I'd say it's been an hour without any particular interruption to your travel. Along the way, as you're backtracking essentially, you're getting relatively close to the river edge. And, Marlin, you're. Uh, passive perception is 15. Yes. Let me double check. Yep, yeah, 15. As you're going, you could see... Marin specifically. You could see the shapes of a few sails on the river edge. As... A slight sliver of light is starting to illuminate the horizon. Do they... Well, yeah. Do right. they look like goblin -y? You have never seen such shitty shell cells in your life. Okay. <laughs> it looks like uh, there's some makeshift boats uh, on the river. Uh, I hesitate so to call you... it that. Do we want to investigate them or do we want to avoid them? It might make it easier for us to I don't know if we can go back upstream. Uh, has it been clarified whether the stream can go up, back? We can go back and forth on the boat, on the river? I don't think I've clarified that now. Um, give me a <clears throat> whatever you think would be appropriate for sailing and give me a check for an advantage. I do have navigation tools for water vehicles. Uh, thingy. Uh, let me see. Probably survival nature. What am I doing it for? I forgot my brain's not working. 
Let's uh, figure out if you can sail up or down the river. Okay, I'll do survival with advantage. 19. The stream, or not stream, the river, even though it gets pretty bad at areas, the overall pace, you feel like a team of Ormen could keep pace with. Okay. So it would be hard going, but with a good team of Ormen, you could go upriver. Well, or just people oaring at a pretty heavy rate. Those shitty boat things, they could be a safer passage, potentially. Maybe we won't have to worry about that. Shadow Goblin. Um, I, I, I will take anything that keeps us away from that. Yes. And hopefully gets us closer to town. Um. Well, let's go and check it out. The least we can do is find out who's sailing them. And if nobody, right. can we just take it? Leave a note? <laughs> At this point, I'd be willing to do that. <laughs> Yeah, Good luck with the shadow go. <laughs> Bye. So, uh, stall is going to speak up here. So, if not, are we going to try to hijack one? Yeah, maybe. We'll get um, a feel for it once we're up there. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Alright, so we're going towards the boat? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you guys are heading towards the river. Um, I'm altering a map real quick. <laughs> ah. I didn't think you guys would actually go towards boats. I don't know why I did. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay. There are going to be some green squares on this map. Ignore them. They just mean plants. Because <laughs> I had to cover up some shit that doesn't exist here. Gotcha. See a river map? <laughs> yes. Um, okay, there it goes. Let's look. Let me zoom it in. wasn't yet. So, where are we at exactly? You guys can pick any side on the right side. Anywhere on the right side. Like over here? Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Just waiting for crocodiles to start swimming at us. <laughs> any moment as you make your way that over there I'll draw going you can see the shape of about two ships for lack of better terms they aren't the best looking things you've ever seen in your life beautiful but they are floating can we see what the crew is yes as you get a good look you can see it is just goblin crews. Probably each one is stuffed to the brim with like um the smaller ship has about six goblins just crammed in there. Actually probably like eight. These like these bodies are piled in there pretty tightly. And the other ship that's slightly larger has about ten goblins. So are they going sunward or shadeward? They are going like upstream. Or 
upriver. Okay. Uh, you can tell they're going at a pretty slow pace. Yeah. And you aren't sure if that's due to the difficulty of going upriver or the fact that they're fucking goblins. <laughs> well, I well, thought they'd be closer to shore. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it seems, seems like a weird place for them. Uh, this is a Marlin uh take the lead moment because I know nothing about the water. Uh, oh, man. Does it look like no nah, not without they're far away. Well does it look like we could if we wanted to use one or two. How many of you are there? Six ish yeah. The larger one will barely fit all of you guys. The smaller one absolutely will not. Uh, I'm gonna be the larger one. And are wait, did you say there are goblins on it? Yeah. Yes. Well then, I I don't know how we would get over there, but um, maybe we should just move on because I I don't know if everybody wants to go for a swim and try to take out some goblins or reason with them. Hey, I'm pretty yeah, hurt. Everyone give me a stealth check. <laughs> oh, God. Once they start shooting arrows, I wasn't too worried about it. <laughs> 11. Seems about right. A 3. <laughs> You're like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said that out loud. <laughs> As you guys are there looking, you could see on the larger ship, one of the goblins, it's kind of like hanging off the side of the mast, and it's staring at you guys pretty intently. You can't hear anything it might be saying over there, but keep that in mind. Oh, the goblin? Yeah, on the mast over here, looking at you guys. Yeah. I was saying, let's be careful not to get shot with arrows here. Yeah. Uh, I don't really feel like taking them on right now. After all, I think we still have exhaustion. You do? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, that reminds me. Um, everyone take another point of exhaustion except no. Marlin or Eldrick. <laughs> what does that mean? Thanks for reminding me. Um, you have all negative rolls have minus two. Else. I would say that again. We both were talking. We have two. But what is uh, that? You mean? have minus oh. two to your rolls. Hmm. Um, I mean, if you don't think it, we should deal with them, then I'm all for leaving them alone. Yeah. I mean, I would. I would love to kill more zombies or more <laughs> goblins, but. All right. Well, now's your As chance to say fuck you talking, as they sail away. <laughs> they, you could see a bunch of the goblins on the ships. Draw bows. Oh shit! Run. <laughs> <laughs> I will go the other way. Everyone, uh, make dexterity checks at advantage as you make your way into the wood with a fair number of arrows following you. A save or a check? Oh, uh, a save. save. Okay. Good call. Oh, shoot. I don't have to worry about it. Stupid goblin arrows as you guys are going into the thicker brushes the uh, goblin air goblin archers aren't that great shots anyways their arrows kind of suck and there's a lot of foliage so you all make it back into the brushes easily enough okay. i personally would have preferred killing them but i guess well, this is fine maybe next time well, we'll have to um, be... Good thing they're going slow. I don't think they can row through the whole... The whole night. We still might get to town before they do. Which we have to worry about now. 
I mean, uh, maybe do we want to stay near the river? Maybe the river would be a way for us to escape the little goblin guy if he showed up. That's a good point. I think that's not a bad idea. And maybe we might run into some non-horrific goblin boats. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Non-horrific goblin boats. Barbara. All right. And if we get bored, I can always kill some goblins. So, um, yeah. So let's stay within, like, maybe not like where the goblins can shoot us with arrows, but like where we can easily run to the river. Gotcha. As you guys continue back along the previous route, which camps about the same distance more or less or similar at least you come upon a familiar terrain if I could find the map I think it was this one I should have used this map <laughs> as you're going along you come upon one of your old campsites that was I'll move you guys there Guys are coming in from the top, more or less. This one was pretty straightforward. Um, pretend you guys are a bit further from the water than that. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll draw green foliage. There we go. <laughs> have we, have we noticed any any more um, uh, like signs that? Goblin dude has been following us. Uh, got any perception checks? Yes, sir. Damn. 14. <laughs> Both of us. As far as you can tell, it hasn't been around. Um, well, uh,. Do you guys want to maybe try to set up camp? You guys are looking pretty haggard. Yeah, I'm not feeling I will like also that. note you guys aren't far from the original goblin camp with all the dead goblins. Just putting that one out there. Okay. Uh, I mean, as fun as it would be to use the dead goblins as pillows, <laughs> maybe they're probably starting to smell at this point. Um, so maybe we stay not at the, the old dead dot goblin camp. Um, but yeah, I think maybe, because we've been traveling for like, it's like, what time of the day would it be right now? As a matter of fact, see, the sun is starting to peek out from the other side. So it's like daytime now? Like just starting to become it's daytime? It's gone. Okay. Well, it's up to you guys. So, you guys have been up for like an entire day and a half, basically. Uh, if you guys want to try to camp, I can take watch. And you guys can try to get some rest. I think we do need a little bit of rest. I was going to say, if we sleep, are we allowed to take a long rest when nighttime comes again? Um... Technically, no, but I'm kind of loose on that role. I mean... And regardless, I mean... I guess technically the requirement is 24 hours between for long rests. Uh, I think you take one rest in a 24-hour period, yeah. Uh, so I'll just go with that. Theoretically, it shouldn't technically be that much of a problem. And you guys are doing a lot of, like, this isn't easy work, so I imagine if you guys got somewhere at night, you'll still probably be pretty fucking tired. Exactly. So, so yeah, I don't think it'll be an issue. Gross. If you want to try and sleep again, let go turn this night again. I just think exhausted, like negative twos to all of our rolls are usually not ideal. Um, so, if you guys want to try, that's fine. I'm perfectly good continuing on. 
But you guys are the ones that are exhausted, so it's up to you. I really want to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here's as good a place as any. Yep. Is it, is it a right. little house or is it bushes? I don't remember. That's that's a tree, I think. Because um, that looked like a door. So I could... thought it was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I will ask for some more descriptions on this place. Is this on a hill or flat or lower on the ground? Super high up on a hill with fortified <laughs> like stones yeah, that stick up. It's got a <laughs> ramparts. Boat. <laughs> yeah, the only way into it is a, uh, a narrow walkway that uh, we can traverse easily but all enemies have to um, <laughs> take rolls to traverse. <laughs> no, it's, I think if I remember correctly, it, this one was in like the middle of some trees. Um, I guess I'll just throw on a bunch of these circles are tree trunks, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trees further away or closer. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, this seems ideal. I will say the side from the river is a pretty thick bramble, so you aren't worried about the river too much. Or at least not from being seen. Alright. So you got the first watch then? Who's the second? I'll just what, stay up all night and... Or day, because like, it's just the daytime. Yeah, exactly. All right then. Oh, I'm not on the board. We have. Well, uh, I they're guess... going to get on the other side of, of the tree, and obviously no fires. Obviously. And those two are gonna go fall asleep. Yep. And I'm going to, uh, just kind of sit there and, and watch. Kinky. Yeah. Indeed, indeed, indeed. It's my new kink is watching people sleep. <laughs> Edward. Is everyone comfortable where they are? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh no. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Everyone's dead. Oh no. All I heard, was, uh, the last thing I heard was like, yeah, we were just going to sleep and then it got quiet. I thought you were thinking and then just never came back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hello? What do, we, do we have to roll something? Or just. No, just. Uh, right. Just Eldrick. <gasps> 13 regular, 17 if I had a thing. <gasps> That's nice for dreaming. Anyways. <laughs> Um, as the night progresses, it seems pretty quiet. You, nothing sounds out. Okay. Uh... That's about two hours in as... Oh yeah, it's day essentially now, so... Yes. Uh, I'll have to keep that in mind. I bet you guys are super sweaty trying to sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll say, you know, there's some nature around. 
in the distance you see a couple of the, like large iridescent beetles just leaving from the uh, direction of the goblin village going into oh, the wilderness yeah. go but they don't that. stand out much to you mm. when do they go there to, to look like their buffet uh, gave right. me another perception check That's a little bit better. A little bit. As you're looking out, um, you could hear. It sounds like there's some sort of creature on the other side of the river bed, but probably sounds like something natural, maybe an alligator from the hiss you hear. Mm -hmm. The heck? Oh. Apparently. Yeah, I keep dropping. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> you hang in there, Adam? <laughs> Barely. Yep, I'm gonna just keep on keep on watching. Last time it was Miranda, this time it's me. I know. As you are. I'm deciding how I should do something. Actually, that was a... Yeah. You're going to hear... A gurgling noise from back here, behind the tree. A gurgling noise? Yeah. Gosh. From where? Behind the tree. One of them is dying. Probably getting stabbed in the throat by the shadow goblin. I'm gonna walk over I and mean, check it out. As you turn the corner, or turn around the tree, you can see the ashen goblin. No. Running away. Motherfucker. And a fair bit of blood coming out from the dragonborn. Shit. <sighs> Let us sleep. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whatever you mean. I'm gonna go over and check. Well, hold on. I'm gonna go check on the stupid guy. Let me see how much he's dead by. Oh god. I mean, Aww. how stupid is he to sleep way over there? I mean, that's on him. Really. Uh, yeah, his throat's completely gone. Jeez Louise. Oh well, alright. Well, then let's go back to sleep. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. So I'll wake this guy up and say, hey, your friend's dead. Probably shouldn't have slept way over there. You should probably go over where I could actually, like, watch you guys. But... Uh... <laughs> actually. Yeah, your friend's dead, though. So that sucks, but I guess we can go back to sleep. The goblin ran away. Uh, Saul's going to... Just give you like this incredulous look and go check on his friend who, yeah, he verifies very easily that he is indeed dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, poor choices, you know? The, was he afraid of the, the, the goblin smell? Was uh, dough meal too much for him? Did he, he had to he had to sleep over there? 
Anyways. Why are you worried about protecting a fucking goblin? I'm not. I'm worried about protecting my two friends of my other two friends. You can see Saul pull off kind of like a trinket from the dead dragonborn and go over towards you guys to rest. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm slightly annoyed that I'm probably going to make less money because your friend slept over there, but I mean... Uh, hey guys, I don't know if you guys care, I'll wait you guys up. Um, the dra the, the Ashen Hob thing came over and killed the, the Dragonborn oh, guy. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> yeah. And then how long is this sleep? It hasn't been a full rest at all. Three huh? hours. <laughs> well. Is there still time to sleep? Oh. <laughs> Shit. I mean... Obviously, the sleeping is going to be a lot more dangerous now, but... More. Uh, do you care if your friend gets eaten? Fucking... What do you have in mind? Well, uh, I usually... Like on occasion, I ask for uh, a Raugen wolf for aid. Maybe if I'm persuasive enough and offer him a friend there. You would. All right. Sorry about that. They are almost deities unto themselves so take it as a an offering to a god almost I will spend do I have a spell slot for that uh, da, 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 da. the ritual have... doesn't take a spell slot right no yeah so I'd have to do it as a ritual anyway yeah 10 minutes later later cast a spell Yes, sir. Five mile radius. So if he's in within, or if there's a, it doesn't have to be the same one. If there's one within, it's five not miles. the same one. <laughs> yeah. As you're commuting, you get the familiar sense, and a large red wolf approaches Ooh. from this direction. Do, 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 do. Uh, good, uh, good day, Rodan Wolf. Um, I have an offering for you. For a favor, if you don't mind. It's going to look at the corpse over there. It is not and one given you. lightly. This was a friend. Someone we were trying to protect. He was killed in his sleep. We are trying to rest. And we're hoping that maybe you can get, give us some protection so we can rest, so we can get out of here. There's some sort of, like a goblin, but he's like extra mean. And he's fucking us up. <laughs> he is, he is not Give me a charisma check. Does the food give me advantage? It does not. Damn. <laughs> One in the belt. Oh my god. As you're talking to it, you hear a noise, and it actually does startle the Rogan Wolf as well. And it retreats into the wilderness. Ah, oh, shit. What the fuck? Well, I'm gonna drag the body over to us. <laughs> no, no, leave it over there. Never mind. Because I don't want a beetle. I just move it further away. <laughs> I'm gonna put it like down here. Well, I guess if he decides to eat it, it helps us on his own accord, but he looks skittish as hell. So that's kind of uh, unsettling if something can scare a rotten wolf like that. You think you can ask it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so. In all seriousness, the obviously the Ashen Hob is back. Do we want to keep trying to sleep? Uh. Obviously, he can. 
if I don't notice him manage to kill the other guy um, and I didn't even notice didn't even hear it until he already killed him well now so, you got all of us within your view hopefully that helps yeah I don't know what else to do we could push on as we are I mean, how much farther? Uh, I'd reckon a day and a half. Yeah. Oh my god. Until the next civilization? Mm hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah. We, I mean, mean, if we were to travel straight, maybe we'll get there by dawn. No breaks. It's up to you guys. The part of me is like, oh, if we're going to have to exert the energy anyway, just uh, sleep until we can't anymore and then fight. Uh, or we're just going to keep on exerting energy and walk until we can't anymore and fall over. And then fight, maybe, and then fall over and die. <laughs> that is, I think, uh, it's goal, actually. Um, so, yeah. I, my only problem is with staying here is if he, just like, even if I see him, uh, he's going to, like, force you guys to wake up. Like, I can't yeah. fight him off by myself. No, I'm starting to think that we're just going to have to move forward. But my only thing is, oh. is we let, what's his name, die. We didn't for let basically him die. no reason at that point. Like no, if we The reason is the lesson that we shouldn't have stopped. And then he knows now not to sleep on his own. That's that's true. Let us just go then. <laughs> um Yeah, yeah. Getting grumpy, sleepy grumpy. Yeah, I can imagine. I would think so. Um, okay, so... Are we... Are we, we heading out? Alright, then we're gonna start trudging away. Keeping our eyes out for the damn Ash and Hob thing. In hindsight, I'm kind of annoyed that we tried to sleep. Because we probably had a bit of a head start on him. As you guys continue along your way, um, from this direction, where are you guys going? Whatever the directest what shot the direct town is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let me rephrase it. Are you by? Are you bypassing the? As you guys are going, you could see the outline of the ruined goblin village. Are you bypassing it or going through it? I mean, I don't see, me personally. I don't see any reason why we'd go back to it. Yeah, we also wasn't know, it kind of out of our way to get there to begin with. We also know that those beetles like to feast on them. I don't want to run into any of those carrion yeah. beetles. Go around just, the hive. Just as like you like guys it. go around, um, you can indeed make out the sounds of a lot of munching noises. Yeah. yeah. And a bit of flattering from giant beetle wings. That was a that was a good decision, Marlin. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of those things. I took my leg off. <laughs> As you guys have bypassed there, and you are, is this the right map? I don't know what map this is. You will die for you. Hang on, I have to throw this. Fortunately, if there's any saving grace, it's that you are already relatively familiar with the places you've been through on this trip. As you're going along further, you come up on a bit of a split. There's a slight, we'll call it a cliff near the river so you could either go around the cliff 
more inland, which is the way you originally came, or you could try and go along the rather steep and narrow side of the cliff near the water. Um, I would if that my, description makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, my would say would just we are retracing our steps, kind of. Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's less chance of surprises that way. As you guys continue, it's been a few hours now. Uh, let me see how many I wrote down specifically. I did not write down specifically. Probably noon. It's about noon now, as you guys are going around this cliff edge, where previously you had found the small goblin group who were being mauled by the beetles. That's about where you are right now. Oops, that's not what I needed. I'm making a little bit of a map. I presume this is... You guys are pretty focused on just getting through at this point. Yeah, basically, mm -hmm. like, it is a... It's like the freaking trudge to civilization. I think there's lots of snippiness, too. Mm -hmm. Everything annoys everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I personally blame whatever the halfling guy is for all of this. He became. <laughs> None of this would have happened. Cardig, Cardig, not Cardigan. Um, Cordain. Again. Yes. It's all Cordain's fault. And that other annoying dude that I hate. Jaster. <laughs> yeah. Jaster's, it was probably Jaster's idea to send them out into the middle of nowhere. You love Jaster. We don't. No one of us, no. No, we don't. <laughs> Fuck that guy. You got me, you guys, see a new map. Nope. Don't this like is this not map. the best map ever. It's beautiful. I don't like it. Okay, so. Do you want to go outside? <clears throat> Why did it do that? Oh, didn't mean to do that. All the grain is difficult terrain. Um, the hills are plus five and plus fifteen. The higher up you go. Approach from the top going south. Approach from the top? Us? We are? Yeah, I'll move you guys. Oh, no. That was too much. <laughs> As you guys are going down, you get to hear... Uh, sounds of a couple... Beetles munching over in this corner. So much. Right. Okay. It's not too hard of a sight as they aren't particularly trying to be quiet. Uh, I'm Probably some leftover goblins. You're going to attempt to sneak past them. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll take off my. I don't want to. Do I don't want to. <laughs> but yeah. I'll go back a little bit and be like, alright, take that off. Alright. <laughs> I, I very quietly, so quietly that the goblins can't hear us go, 
each, 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 each. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me take it off, god damn it. <laughs> I'm all snippy. By the way, if anyone needed a short rest, you could have absolutely taken a short rest at least. I wouldn't have done anything. I don't even have oh, hit I, dice. I can use my arcane recovery there. Oh, I have one. Let me use that. Nice. That's four. That's really good roll. <laughs> All right. So that means we can do hit dice. So. Yep. So I have more health than I did. That's good. That was my that's last good. hit dice, though. The fuck, man. Ooh. There. That's better. There you go. Jesus, you guys get so many more hit points than me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We're a little more meaty. All right, I used three of my hit dice. Or you can see it. Does anyone need a break, by the way? I don't ask that often enough. Uh, I would actually... I'm gonna go use the restroom. Yeah, break. it's a good time to take it. I'm gonna oh. order a drink. Y'all go pee, get a drink, too. I am back. Welcome back. They are not back yet.
Thank you very much. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. So, have you heard uh, any good A mates since you've been there? I'm back. Uh, I have. <laughs> so, as soon as I got off the plane, the first two people I heard talk were two just the most Australian accents I heard. <laughs> they call you like, people were just I mean, there talking. I don't have that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you heard them call you that? I, I, mean, I heard that that's a... I have heard that once. <laughs> uh, I thought I was expecting, honestly, the, that uh, term. I don't know, I just wasn't expecting it. Be called brother? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was just expecting they called everyone mate and said g'day all the time. <laughs> g'day yeah. mate. G'day. G'day. Like, uh, can I get a drink? Good day, mate! <laughs> <laughs> no, a drink. Good day, mate. Okay. He can't say too much, they're around him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am a. I've done that once. Not here. I was, I was talking to some English dude over in Japan. Uh -huh. And I don't remember what we were talking about, but I did, like, I accidentally switched into an accent. It <laughs> just happened to be his accent. Like his accent? Yeah. Like you were trying oh to be God. like silly and you're like, I was just randomly popping an accent. Of course I did yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like, to my so friends, I'm it's random. Not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying not to do that again. Stupid American. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Who is going first? Oh. And oh, should we um, do I presume we got to try and sneak past this thing. Yes. Yeah. So should we go on the roll initiative? Uh, yes. Go on roll initiative. Ooh, rolling fast does not equate to rolling good. So I need to click my person apparently. That's what I did that. I rolled. Wow. Even my second. Unofficial roll. That makes sense. I was in the back getting dressed. <laughs> Stuffing my armor into a bag. <laughs> okay. Eldrick, you are first on trying to sneak by. I mean, might as well fuck it up immediately, right? Hell um... yeah. Get it. There we go. I rolled a six. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> no. There you go. Man. The first branch. <laughs> Immediately just as soon as you start walking you hear a Ooh. Eldrick. And, uh... <laughs> well, I'm glad we could get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, fast. that didn't last long. <laughs> As <laughs> both of the beetles just turn towards you guys. Run. Put your armor back up! Put your armor back on! Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Is it uh, going to... Uh, I have my shield out. It's not terribly low. I mean, obviously we're going to fight now, so... Oh, you guys are going to get a little bit further than that. Gee. <sighs> we should have just done this from the beginning. I'm going to attack the... Uh, hold on. All right, no problem. So right in the middle between them, I'm going to cast. They have to make DC 15 dexterity saves. <laughs> you just, I'm just going for it. <laughs> Failed. Oh, they both failed. Uh, damn. Uh, you do a very bit, as you can see, cracks show up on their carapaces. Okay, then I'm gonna run away. 
but like away. <laughs> Run forward. Um. Oh, damn, they're still up. Go Yasmin. Must go faster. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just running. I I, I agree with that. <laughs> Before you do one thing, hang on, so it's gonna use its legendary sort of action. Order. <laughs> Don't like that. No. Oh, I see. Okay. As you guys. The Marlin, or not Marlin, Eldrick start running and doing his thing. You could both, all of you guys could hear a little bit of a bowstring get pulled. Thunk. As. Wait. Yasmin. What's your AC? Yeah. Did he, did that fucker join the it fight? It is 16. As you could hear, two arrows get launched at Yaslin. Where is this fucker? At advantage. Coming up from the cliffside. Uh, 13 damage roll. And then it's gonna disappear back into the cliffside. Ah, uh, rage. She can use her reaction. Definitely, you could hear the right. beetles start running towards uh, Eldrick. Let me go in, guys. <laughs> Just gonna watch Eldrick get eaten like we're playing Hell Divers. Right. This big one. They're both just dashing after Eldrick right now. Eldrick, you get to hear as this giant beetle is just like it's a berry hovering above the ground straight towards you and is settling pretty damn close behind you. I don't like it. Um, yeah, so that was your go. All right. I'm gonna rage. I'm just gonna start with start off with that and use my bonus action to raise. Five, ten, fifteen. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um, but I could use my charger though, and it will, and I can use my um. A, oh shoot! I can't because I already used the bonus action. You okay. can undo. Well, then I'm. <laughs> huh. Which one I, you I could still that rage. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm still in rage. I'm going to keep some rage, but I'm going to do the crossbow. Well, fuck. <laughs> yep. Your crossbow does not quite penetrate its armor, as you can see it plink off. <sighs> Doll's going to start running forward. Um... As it gets here, he is going to... Yeah, he's just going to stab it with a spear two-handed. And not do particularly well. You could hear... Eldrick, you could see as a bolt slash it, uh, crashes against the side of the beetle and stall spear just... Slink off the side. Air attack was pretty well, but theirs are not as much. Domino's gonna start running as well. Uh, 10, 20, 30. He's sticking a bit closer to the side of the cliff. Good, I don't make it easier for the Excuse goblin me. to kill him. For the record, Domino's mask has not left his face. He has left it on. Good boy. 
contemplating yelling, he's a goblin, you should kill him first. <laughs> <Not gonna answer. laughs> he's not As he's going. Oh, wow. Why did he roll so high? Am I, did I mess up in half? Uh, Who? Oh, hell yeah. Good for him. No, leave it, leave it, leave it. <laughs> he rolled a 17 and uh Well, four damage. Well, I guess. What the hell? Four Ten total. That's not bad. Well, I guess I'll leave the map. Uh, screw it. Anyways, Go you need me. two um, green or sickly orange globs just smack into the front of this beetle as Domiel is making his way forward. And did you actually yell out the thing about the goblin? Hmm? No, no, of course no, not. No, he was making Everybody's a joke. <laughs> no. Yeah, that does seem pretty high. He's getting a six... Getting a plus eleven to his attacks. Yeah, that... It just seems wrong. <laughs> I mean... I think it's mostly I, he hasn't hit I'll yet. I'll have to double-check the spell attack. Yeah. <laughs> He should probably be only getting the plus five total for things. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mara, right, there's your go. Well, uh, do I see the one behind me at all? The, the one that was on the rocks? No. Nope, not from your angle. Uh, I will push forward. <clears throat> um, I'll split off this way. 30 feet. Uh... I'll go for the one that's closest to everyone else, and I'm going to cast uh, Guiding Bolt 12 plus uh, I'm going to add 6 luck points. Uh, don't forget you have minus 2. Oh, fuck. I'm going to add hold on 10 luck points to hit, to try to hit. Does that help? That works. Uh, roll your damage. And damage, because it's a lot of damage. 16. Tell me how this thing dies. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's like trying to bear down on um, Eldrick. Bar yeah, Eldrick. Uh, yeah, so it's like wings are open, and then I shoot this ball of lightning, and then as it kind of like... It's kind of like shit hitting a fan, like the wings are beating, and the electricity as it's going through is just tearing up the wings as it get beats every beat, destroys it until it hits the body. And it blows up all over Eldrin. It is quite a fucking mess. Thank but you. But it is dead. Yeah. There's another one. It smells like no. It smells like dead bug now. You lie. No. <laughs> uh, anything else for your turn, Marlin? And I end my turn. Where's the boat? This green shit. Oh, goddamn! You can see the goblin, or you probably can't see actually, but this goblin's gonna poke its head back out and take another couple shots. This time at Marlin, or not Marlin, Eldrick. Oof. Jesus! Yeah, <laughs> Holy shit! At least I weren't crits. Eleven damage. And fortunately, he's out of his stolen arrows, so that's also good. And then, whoops, that's Mal, not him. Then it disappears once again into the cliffside. side. That one's dead. I'll drink it as you go. Damn. Is this just difficult terrain? That's free difficult terrain. Twenty feet. Thirty feet. Cast. As you step there, give me a dexterity save. It's not a That's pretty good. As your foot comes down, your foot kind of like passes through the ground and 
you realize that the ground you just stepped on is kind of false and barely lifts your foot in time to kick some prawn, like, steak sour set up just underneath the ground. Motherfucker. And nothing happens, fortunately. Did but I... you are now aware that there's a small foot trap where you were stepping. He set traps. <sighs> All right. Um, what can I cast? Um, so. I don't think I want to do uh, My only lightning spells pull things towards me. Or I have to use touch. I don't like it. Alright, I'm going to use Ray of Frost. I'm going to use Ray of Frost. 15. Does that hit? Negative. Damn. Dang, 15 doesn't hit. I'll use one luck point. See, as it. Go ahead. I'll use one luck point. Does that make a hit? It does indeed make a hit. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Alright. You can see as its carapace initially holds up against your frost until it starts cracking. I do six cold damage. And it has a side effect too, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think we have frost does. Uh, you're thinking of chill touch, which makes it not uh, able to ten feel. feet less movement. <laughs> is that it? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And its speed is reduced by ten feet until the start of your next turn. I mean, it doesn't help at the distance, but. Yeah, it's still gonna get to me, but still. Good to hear the beetle continue its path towards you. And. It's gonna try and bite you. That's not gonna hit. Yeah, that's most certainly gonna hit. Uh, yeah. Yep, that hits. Nothing I can do. It's large beetles, doesn't it? Clamp. It's probably taking into account the natural. I don't know why it says. No, oh, I guess I made this thing do a lot of damage. Good to know. <laughs> All right, I'm yes. down. You're down. Uh, you're good to hear. Um, a pretty gnarly sound as the thing just uh, catches Eldrick and just starts chewing on him. Yummy meal. Um, yeah, so that was your go. Okay. You could hear an awful sound coming from the other side of the trees. At least it was Eldrick and not our paycheck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was it here? I think it was there. Yep. Can I see the bug from here? You can certainly see the bug. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit it with the crossbow again. Not flab it! I am just like. Not having you can a see good the day. Round just sink, kind of ricochet off the carapace. Mm -hmm. Couldn't you have charged? Well, I guess it's too late now. No, uh, because it wasn't a straight line. Mm. That's right. You could also have your bonus action you could use as a dash, for the record. Mm, I thought a bonus action dashing was an action. It is. Not for your um, barbarian. 
But that's only if I'm using Rage. I mean, Charger, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, it says Charger. When you use your action to dash, you can use a bone. Oh, to make a, be a, melee, a melee weapon attack or shove a creature. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, the being able to use your bonus action to dash is a rogue thing. Hang on. I am 100% sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you're going to let me, I'll do it. Totem Spirit Eagle. While you're raging, oh, yeah. um, oh, you, forgot you can use the dash action as bonus action. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'll let you <laughs> do Wait, that. Thank you. <laughs> Whoopsie. 5, 10, 15, 20. She just leveled up mid-game. <laughs> this is consistent. <laughs> Does her remember or figuring out? Oh, that works. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> She's like, I got tools. I, I know they work. Twice. Why do I think about the other stuff? Um, since you actually can reach it, I will let you do your normal attack instead of using the crossbow if you'd like. Okay. Things are getting hairy. I'll roll damage. Tell me how this thing dies. Oh, thank God. Um, I think at this, I'm just like while like wildly scrambling and just like slicing as much as I can like <laughs> you know like truly in a like not even anything fancy just like just trying to actually impale this thing you carve the back of this thing up and it just drops forward plopping uh, Eldrick from its mouth <laughs> sexy right Saul's gonna make it over here and he doesn't have anything to particularly help you, so he'll instead just hold an action. Domiel will also move this way. Domiel, let's make a DC check. You can see Domi will step forward and then just lift his foot back and kind of like kick at the ground and the floor in front of him collapses a little bit. Another trap. He will hold his action for something and... Tomorrow night is here go. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to keep using my spells. Alright, let's go 30 feet. And whoop, what the hell? <sighs> so that one, you're down, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Josh is down. And yes. Well, that, that you didn't put it next to her, but it's still alive. No, or it's, it's dead. dead. Okay. So now we just gotta worry about fucker over there. Uh, do I have? Let me see. Let me see. One second. Uh, do we have to have fog cloud selected? Because it's in my thing, but I think it's just ability. You're a cleric, right? Yes, but I'm the Triton, too. Well, I'm... Uh, yours is natural, or racial, so no. Okay. I was just... I'm checking it real quick. Uh, and I haven't used it. You can cast uh, Fog Cloud with this starting at third level. And then how many times once you cast it, you can't cast this spell again until you finish long rest. Have I, I haven't cast it in a while, right? I don't believe so. Um, I mean, it's been a while since we've had a long rest, but I don't... I think Miranda was the one to cast it before. I think Miranda yeah, was, yeah. True. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, Fog Cloud and put it like... Because he's been up in that, in that rock area. I'm just going to put it like right here to block that pathway as much as I can. Should I just put it on top of us? Yeah. 
Only problem is that we can't see you. Yeah, but I have, I'd have rather him get closer than be shooting at us from yeah. above. I'm going to drop it on top of us, specifically centered on him. Can I make a circle? Uh, how big is it? I should probably... Did I click it? No. There we go. Submit. And it is 20 foot radius. Uh, really? A 20 foot open radius? That's enormous. Yeah, so let's. I don't know how, to, how do I do this? Has it always been 20 foot radius? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's up. I think the last time I used it, though, was on was massive on much... maps. Yes. So they look really tiny on massive maps. <laughs> yeah, will always crew with me. What is this little mini circle? I ignore it. That's just me not clicking in a very <laughs> good spot. It's the fireball that he's going to throw off the cliff <laughs> after Mr. <Mr>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I moved. I used my action. And I'm going to say, if you got a potion, give it to him now. Uh, uh, I don't know if I do. I have an acid potion. Yes, give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I've oh, got, I do, I do have a health potion. I've got a potion. Just give me a minute to get to him. Oh God, there's pits in the ground. <laughs> That ends my turn. Uh, Aldrich, make a saving throw. Death saving? save, rather. I was gonna say. Uh... Death is clawing its way at you. Good job. Uh, oh, one more! Another round. One more and I would've... Been stable. <laughs> yeah. Um... Gasma, is your turn. Alright. I'm gonna hold my action until I can see um, something within range. <clears throat> and then I'll go, oh, that was really gross. I just burped up a bacon piece. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Seconds. <laughs> Ew. Exactly what I was thinking. You never have too much bacon, Miranda. <laughs> oh, God. You're gonna hear from the other side of Eldrick, Saul say, "You have anything to pick him up?" Yep. Do I have anything to pick him up? Besides, I mean, I can pick him up, like with my own hands. I mean, being carried by. Wait a second! I do have a health potion. Hey. I just wrote it down wrong. <laughs> you wrote. Oh, you're gonna use the next turn. Hurt potion. Um, Healing potion of acid. Here. You can hear um, Domiel on the edge of the fog cloud, biding his time, holding an action. Marlin, it was your go. Um, I will at least walk this way, find the beetle. So I'll be like, all right, well, I know he's around here somewhere. And then I'll find Eldrick. Uh, am I giving him the potion? Or did you? I did not give him okay, the potion. So then I'll bust out my potion. Relax, Marlin, you owe me one. A potion, that is. I'll bring his head up to it and I'll force feed him. And that ends my turn. Because that was an action. Uh, it's rolled yeah, 2d4 plus two. 2. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4. Oh, what happened? I clicked so it twice. Uh, this is the first one. 5, 7. 7. That is exactly how many I was negative, but I understand that that is good. <laughs> As Eldrick is coming to you, you could hear some biting on the edge of the fog cloud. As Domiel is getting into an altercation. Oh, fuck. He has disadvantage on everything. <laughs> and you could hear... Fuck, those are high. That seems like... There's Domiel just shot someone point blank in the face over here. Hell yeah, good job, Domiel. Oops, I did that wrong. Nice. 
Nice. Tell me he's dead. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh man, that'd be hilarious. I mean, that is a total of 42 plus 8 plus 6. I'm sure he healed a little bit in the meantime, but still. Yeah. As you hear that, essentially explosion, you're going to hear Domiel make an equally bad sound. Oh, yep. Jesus hey. Christ. Quite did. And go sign it. Fart buckle, no. no. Eldrick, it's your turn. Yeah. And as you wake up, you can hear the sounds of both the Eldrick blasts and the vinyl. Uh, and. I'd say the whole area was colorful just from the Elder Glass alone. Absolutely. Alright, I'm going to use half of my movement speed to stand up. And then... Feet. Oh, no, thank you! Let's get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm going to cast... Rough. Anyways, I'll heal myself for five more hits. And that's my turn. Okay. Yeah, Aslan, it is your turn. Are you see Eldrick making his way further sunward and you heard a uh, noise coming from this direction from Domiel. Excuse me. I mean, we're still in the fog cloud, so we can't really see what is going on exactly. Correct? Correct? Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, I heard, okay, I heard him go this way, I heard a sound go this way. I think, honestly, I would be like, okay, I know he's going this way, so I'm going to follow him going this way and hold the action until... Make a dexterity save. Ooh. You stepped over a hole in the dark. I know I did, but I'm trying to be like, you know, me as me. God damn! <laughs> you as oh. you fell in a hole. <laughs> Make a con save. It's called karma. Oh, the plus side, you aren't getting poisoned. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good. You feel a pretty solid jab in your foot as a uh, stake pierces the bottom of your foot. There's a bit of liquid on the thing, but it doesn't seem to be bothering you too much. However, yeah, no, I'll leave that down. Yep. Uh, Saul will doesn't <laughs> particularly give a shit about Domiel anyways, and will follow behind you. And as he takes a step forward to go to the side, he has to make a dexterity save. Oh no. What to do, what to do. And a con save. You could hear Saul also go, ah! Fucking... Like, there's a hole over here! That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, it is your turn, uh, Marlin. Okay. Uh, let's see. Four score and seven years ago. 
Alright, I know where it happened at. Um, I'm gonna run that direction. Like, Domeo! Is he... You don't hear nothing as you step on Domil's mask. Oh, shit. Uh, Not too far away from there, you could see Domil on the ground. Well, I thought I stepped on his mask on his face. <laughs> 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 That's why I said shit. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I stepped on him. <laughs> it made sense because it was foggy. All right. Um... He has uh, pretty large gashes on his chest, and it seems to have knocked his mask um, the attack on him knocks his mask off. I have a healer's kit. To try to stabilize. Is he alive? Yes. Okay. You can I, save him. You I would like to stabilize him. Does it use up um, a healer's kit yeah. or just have it? Because it says I have three. We'll say... Can you click it? Or no, that's the weight. I'm dumb. I only have one. Okay. And no, it's not clickable. It's just in my inventory. I remember buying it with my rations. Uh, just use it for now, and I'll figure out the rolling layer. Okay. So I know. I think it just stabilizes them. Do I have to roll though? That's the thing. I don't remember. No, that's okay. Yeah, it consumes a thing, but you don't have to roll. Okay. So he is now stabilized. God damn it! I'll pick him up, put him on my back. Um, what was my movement? Let me see. Sorry. You bitch, why'd you drop? Uh, yeah, I won't be able to move. So I'll just at least pick him up for now. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. God damn it. Make a perception check, Eldrick, or not Eldrick, Marlin. Yep, I gotcha. Perception. Not very good right now, it's too foggy. You are pretty concerned. Yeah. You hear skittering, but nothing happens. Eldrick, it is your turn. Uh. Mm. So. I don't know what you're doing any of the things you're doing. I think everything's fine. Yes, I heard you, that sound from over there. You also heard me say, no, me, and then fuck. <laughs> Just so you know. Is Toby okay? No. Fuck. He's alive, but not okay. Oh, well. Uh... All right, here's what I'm going to... Actually, let me check. Do I have to touch something? I think I have to touch something. So, by the way, this is session 15. <laughs> There's me? Yeah, I was updating the... I was downloading... I was uploading the other two videos while we were playing. And I was like, oh. Here, Australian Nexus. Uh, healing Kimberlitz is a... Touch. Is touch. Yep. All right. So, he has to be over here. I feel, here's the thing, bring, I yell, bring him to me. And I'm going to move to here, like right on the edge of the, the fog cloud. Okay. I feel like we want to get away. And I'm going to hold my action. But if I see... Uh, that stupid ass fucking goblin. I'm going to cast, uh, Agnazar Scorcher. Ooh. So that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Yasmin, it is your turn. Alright. Um,. Gonna continue to like. Do I have to make any sort of check to make sure I don't fall in like another hole? <laughs> uh, give me a perception check at a disadvantage, as it's pretty hard to see right now. Taking <laughs> so count minus two. Um, well, 
we'll see if he ruins any. Alright. I'll keep that in mind for your next roll. You make it there, fine. Okay, and I'm gonna hold- I'm still gonna hold an action. Saul is going to keep going, as he does not particularly care. And he's gonna hold an action there. I wouldn't- Don't be able to stabilize. Marlin, it is your turn. Alright. You are moving at encumbered, I guess. Yeah, half speed, essentially. Um, so I will move. God damn it. You're a heavy bitch. Bring him with me. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know where you're at exactly yet. And I still have my action. Um, I also want to hold my action yep. to, um, or should I, actually I should probably get closer. I'm going to dash. I forgot I could do that. And I'm practically going to just run into Arkmere. Oh, fuck! Kadrin? Uh, Kadrin? Kaden? Kaden? Nope. Eldrick. Nope. Eldrick. It's Eldrick. right wow. there at the bottom of the screen. Almost every name in the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh, that sucks. Okay. But yes, down there. And my turn. Okay. Um, you make it there fine. For anyone on the edge of the circle, are any of you guys like peeking out or are you guys all yes. in the fog? Yes. Still? I'm like right on the edge, like basically peeking out. Okay. Give me a perception check. I'm on the edge of glory. Hey, Over is peeking out, give me a perception check. 18. Pretty good. Hmm. As you were peeking out, you could see the odd image of the creature standing up here. It doesn't seem to be... It seems to be waiting. If I can see it. Casting my spell. Do it. Do it. I believe you said that was a held action, right? Yes. Yeah, it did, like for me too, or just him? Because I have Only he can see it right now. Alright, so I'll take a DC 15 dexterity save, or take 14 damage, half as much on him. That's a useful spell. I can't say that's just within range, probably. Actually, it might not be in range since he's 15 feet high. Oh, okay. Whatever. Then I guess I get cast this one. And he's just watching menacingly? He's just watching menacingly. Well, obviously, he's gonna attack us as soon as we fucking leave. Eldrick, it is your turn as you can see it in the distance. It's just a bit too hard for Yasin to actually make out since. It's kind of like fate colored, the same as the sky behind it. I will say, and... well, obviously he's going to attack us as soon as we leave the the fog cloud. Um, he's up on the cliff over there. So he yeah, so can make another perception check, see if he can see it now. At advantage. Right. Oh my fucking god. Oof. Are you serious? Are you it looks like he's pointing at the sky. The sky is officially goblin to uh, Eldrick. Uh -huh. Um, do you want me? So here's the thing: I can attack the goblin, or I can heal the stupid other goblin. Actually, you know what? Fuck that goblin. I'm attacking the. <laughs> that makes sense for your character. 
<laughs> exactly. That's what <laughs> I decided to get. Um. Sorry, I kind of jumps ahead. Uh, if you want to do something like that, by all means, go ahead. Yeah, well, because now it's my turn, and, I could, and if I could see it, then I would use my actual turn. Uh, trying to think of what actual spell he could use. You know what? <clears throat> Chicken butt. Come on. Chicken butt. Let's make this fucking work. I'm going to cast this on him. And you discover something as you cast a spell. Exactly. This is no longer considered a humanoid. It's not. Oh shit. Not anymore. As you cast your spell, it makes eye contact with you. And then continues the scanning the area. It's a monstrosity. Yeah, it kind of skips over Eldrick's turn, so. Um, well, no, that would, be my, that would be my turn. So. Okay. Yeah, so again, you can't see the creature from its position. Uh, what would you like to do? Can... What's going on? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask them. Okay. <laughs> Where is it pointed out again? Uh, up on the rock over there. Apparently uh, not a cone. Check it. As you, you still can't see it, unfortunately. However, you're about to see it as Saul steps out, drawing his own arrow. And as he steps out, the creature up there is going to finally take action. Shit. And, uh... Fucking hell. As Saul steps out, pulling out his weapon, uh, two arrows are gonna very easily fly into his face. Oh, there goes our paycheck. And... With it revealing itself, you are welcome to take your action, Yasm. Okay. Is Stahl dead yet? Cause... Oh, he is super fucking dead. Oh, yeah. Stupidity gets you killed. That's, that's uh, roll damage. <laughs> As your arrow flies forward and pierces this creature's skin. Actually. So, actually, screw it. He didn't do it, so I'm not doing it. As your arrow hits and sinks into its skin, you can see its kind of camouflage reveals breaks down, revealing itself fully. What is it? Yeah, it's right up there. Oh, like revealing itself? I thought it was like something else. Like it is no longer camouflage. Oh, okay. That's all I mean. I'm like revealing itself fully is what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Marlon, it is your turn. No, uh, uh, okay. So there's no way to save the idiot, right? He's just dead, no. dead. He's just that dead. Oh, he's up there. Let me see. I can't do this. Spit on him as I walk by for his stupidity. I do have level three spells still. I wish I could teleport. He's just hanging out up there, right? Yep. Look here, I might be tired. But I still got some energy in me. And then a storm's gonna start coalescing above his head, and I'm gonna call lightning. Uh, so 120 feet, I cast it above his head. And I will go ahead and try to hit him. Or is it Dex save? Dexterity save. Which I believe he probably passes at 17. 
Yes. Uh, dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d10 on a failed save. Half as much Roll damage. damage. Yeah. Yeah. So either way, how much lightning do you take, my friend? Half a 19. Nice. As your lightning hits, you could see as more appropriately it doesn't hit, but the sheer shock and kind of like the scattering of lightning from the direct from the actual impact site mm -hmm. kind of clings onto the creature as much like the beetles you've seen before its skin kind of like fluoresces with the lightning and do you have anything else for your action or turn um so it's action and then we're moving now right guys yeah. Yeah. So I have Domi on my back, and I'm gonna move. Oh, did you? You haven't rezzed him yet, right? No. <laughs> so I will That's move I 15 feet. <laughs> and I'm As still keeping creature... my concentration, ready to hit him again. As you could see, uh, Marlin go into the opening, open with. Uh, Domiel slung over his back. You can see the creature up on the hill stare at Domiel before making a retreat. And that is the end of combat. Oy, oy. What if the creature is just trying to get to Domiel? Well, or he didn't want to kill Domiel. Oh, I mean, like rescue him? Well, we can't ask Domiel until he wakes up. Maybe rescue him, maybe. Take him as sacrifice. I don't know. I don't know. I think his point was to kill this idiot. He spits on this guy. Uh, does, does he have like a dog tag or some crap? Yes, you could see. At this point, he has three dog tags essentially. And I rip them all off of him and kick him a couple times. <laughs> idiot. Wow. He madly lost his picture. Tell us how you really feel. I mean, I told him there was a guy up there that he's going to shoot us as soon as he goes out to the open. And the fucking moron went out into the open immediately and got killed and cost us fucking money. And then his other freaking friend sleeps out in the fucking open and gets fucking murdered. <laughs> They're fucking morons. And they cost us fucking money. It kicks him again. Yeah. Just so you know what I'm thinking. And part of it is concern for Domiel. But I don't know how long I want to stay working with the... Uh... Striders? Yeah, the, the... Slayers. Yeah. It's Stalkers. <laughs> stalkers. I'm Blockers, thinking Storm Striders it. still, that's why. <laughs> I think the uh, original name was going to be something Slayers, wasn't it? I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. Uh, and honestly, like, I know I've slept more than everyone else, but I'm still yeah. not, like, fucking having a great time no. it's been a very trying fucking couple of goddamn days and okay. i just died like not literally but like <laughs> i just fell unconscious and this fucking idiot anyways um yeah we should probably get the hell out of here okay. however i guess now that we're not fucking protecting these idiots uh we could go see if we wanted to lay an ambush somewhere or whatever, but really we just need to get back to town to collect our money for these. How much was it that they just cost us? Like an extra 300 freaking gold? Uh, like that. Yeah, because I think we are going to get paid more if we could get them back. I mean, we can take the bodies back. Did they say alive? Yes, I'm pretty sure the bonus was for bringing the home alive. Hmm. Right? Am I accurate in that? Um, <laughs> what it's wrote... going to come down to is... Hang on, let me go to the page where I wrote this stuff. And you it's probably it come out to like 600 if they were all alive, 300 with knowing what happened to them and coming back with like yeah. the doctor. You wrote, it on the, you wrote it on the main map as well. I'm trying to find the main map right now. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I have a lot of pages and I get rid of some of them. Actually, I'm just moving you guys there, too. 
as you guys get away from the clef edge, a uh, gentle downpour starts showing up. Almost as if in response to the storm that Marlin summoned. Great. So yeah, six hundred dollar or six hundred rec, four hundred gold to just come back, and then they would have been two hundred requisition per freaking person. So yeah, they cost us four hundred requisition because we're idiots. All right. Um, we're like at this point, you guys are right about there. Okay. It's uh, about noon. A little bit past noon, probably like two ish. I say we're gonna freaking. I'm gonna cast uh first things first. I'm gonna cast cure wounds on stupid ass goblin. So he's gonna heal for nine. And as he do that, uh, Gomil's going out just like, ah, what's happening? <laughs> it's like, I was gonna let you die, but they convinced me to let you live. <laughs> also, Go ahead. if there's one thing I can say about you, even as small as your stupid little goblin head is, you're smarter than that fucking idiot. So <laughs> that's a pretty good compliment, honestly. <laughs> I'll try uh, it. And he's gonna get his mask back from Martin, who I hope grabbed his mask. I probably did not. I stepped on it. I might have yeah, it's all it. broken now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna uh, like wrap his wrap some clothing up, giving himself a little face mask. Holes in a <laughs> in a sock. All right. Yeah, they're so, dead anyways. I don't need a mask for now. I say we just kind of hightail it back to fucking town. Um, I don't see any like if we can move as quickly as possible. I feel like if he was going to, well, I don't know. We should keep our eyes open, but move as quickly as possible back to town. Yeah. Oh, do me. Yeah. Anyone who'd like to make, go ahead. Do you know why he would, I don't know. It seemed like he didn't want to hurt you. I know he's the one who put you oh, out. I didn't feel like it. No, I know. <laughs> no, something felt weird about it. Like he was looking at you and then dipped out. You feeling okay? It's not what he yeah. has isn't contagious, is it? I certainly hope not. That would be bad. Can I do you give him a checkup? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be a medicine uh, check. <laughs> yeah, medicine check. I don't have good. Well, it's not terrible. Well, oh shit! No, no. I'm you know what a, a, gob a healthy goblin looks like, but you're pretty sure this is what a healthy goblin looks like. Uh, you should Barring the two, like, three <laughs> scratches across his chest. <laughs> a non-sick, slightly wounded goblin. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, you seem all right. <sighs> Damn it, I was really hoping you were going to die of some horrible disease. I was worried you were going to become like that corrupted goblin. I have. Uh, go ahead. I was. Uh, you go ahead. We're gonna say. As you guys start continuing along the way, I'm trying to think if Dome Meal knows any stories that may be relevant to this. When I was young, well, not me specifically, just in general, they always tell goblins, like, not to. It's a part of the order that. Ash and Hobbs are above us. And no one's ever really tried to break the order, you know. But that village back there, the goblin one, they broke it. I wonder if that's what happens. Ah. Oh. The goblin will just go crazy and say, you should not break. No, like, he's saying that the one that's been fucking us up might have been part of that village. Oh. Like, you kill I'm... it, you become it kind of thing? Hmm. Well, here's what we'll do. Right before we kill the next Ashen Hob, 
we'll hold it down and let you kill it and see what happens. I, I'm happy not being that. Yeah, I'd Listen, say it's probably not it, a good idea. It's for science. He's gonna shrug and <laughs> forget I said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, I don't know how well you guys know Eldrick at this point, but normally when he does things like that to, uh, to Domiel, he means every word of it. This time he kind of smiles slyly, like Domiel's somewhat growing on him. Anyways, oh, I don't know if anyone noticed. Yeah, people that. worse than a goblin. I think El uh, Marlin probably notices with his perception. Uh, and like I feel like before, Eldrick would have made you use your actual healing potion on him, not exert himself. Anyways, uh, all right, let's let's get out of here. Yeah. As dusk is starting to turn and. You're getting towards the final leg of the trip. Let me see if I got rid of this map too. Okay. No, actually, I probably fucking did. You are going for further, and you come upon a familiar waystone. The first one that you had come across. It is. You are now surrounded on both sides by water with a fair bit of mud around this is not going to be an exact repeat of the map because I don't remember exactly what it looks like um but anyways yeah uh, with that description is there anything you want to say and or do prior to me moving you I mean, I think at this point, like, it's one of those situations where we're so tired and we're so, like, it's been such a long thing that we're just kind of, like, silently trudging towards the destination. It's like, oh, yeah, we just want to get there. Um, well, actually, uh, I'm worried about getting there because we're going to dirge, right? I thought we were going to hold fast. Oh, hold fast? I, you guys are heading towards hold fast. Either first. way. I think for either one. Um, I don't think we should get no meal near those those hounds. So I'm either going to think about staying out here with him while you guys go to town. And then, yeah, because I don't want to leave him by himself. I kind of, like, smile and say, damn it, I totally forgot to keep fucking with you guys with that. Um, yeah, uh, that's probably actually, well, here's the thing, uh, I think my only issue with that is this, this fucking goblin is following us. Yeah, no. I don't want to leave you with, alone, uh, outside the walls because of the risk of that goblin coming up and killing you guys. Like, obviously, he can uh, just assassinate people uh, who do stupid shit. So, um, what if we do this, all right? I think I have a bit of a sway with the town. Ooh, I have a spell. Hold, can, can I have a question. For ritual yeah. spells, do you have to have them? I'm just realizing this, too. Um do you have to have them equipped to use them as a ritual, or no? You know how you have to pick your spells every day? Yes, that I do not strictly know. Uh, so since it Josh, does not, do you remember? Since it, well, I'll look it up right now, but since it doesn't require a spell slot the way I would assume, that it doesn't matter, because you're not slotting it into one of your spell slots, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you could just cast the ritual to do the spell. Like, that makes sense to me. The way that you, because the idea is, like, the, the spells that you pick, it's because in the morning you, like, pray and and prepare okay. that um, these are the spells. 
Ritual casting. You cast a cleric spell as a ritual. If that spell has a ritual tag, and you have the spell prepared. Oh, oh okay. okay. All right, good to know. I'll keep that in mind. What spell are you looking at? Uh, Feign Death. Ah. <laughs> Just play dead. Yeah, I can <laughs> cast it on someone else, too. Well, oh, that'd be all fine. I'm... <sighs> it's next time we level up, I'm or if I can find a fucking scroll, I am learning <laughs> yeah. fucking uh, this guy's or like minor illusion or whatever. Yeah. So, um, that's gonna stop being an issue. Here's what I'm thinking: if we can get to town, I can go in there and just let him know, hey, we have a goblin with us. He's a uh, He's an asset that we need to take back to town, so you guys got to do whatever it is you got to do to not kill our fucking asset. Uh, he's a defector that's going to give us information. Something like that. I can most likely persuade them into making it not a big deal. Yeah, I think they'd believe it coming from you, considering we saved their town originally from a that's mass true. of goblins and a hob. Exactly. And, I mean... This group. Uh oh. I dropped again. Oh, he's back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh. Uh, but it, yeah, just us as a group. I think they'll believe us that we're not trying to sneak in a fucking evil goblin into their, yeah, into uh, their town. I agree. Don't meal. You stay on my shoulders. Yeah. And okay. here's, here's the thing annoying goblin thing if they try to kill you i will my do some minor things to make sure that it doesn't happen i just wait you know. outside until you figure it out no no i don't want the goblin killing you or turning you or some weird shit yeah we gotta make sure to keep you safe for marlin's benefit <laughs> yeah for marlin's he'll be, benefit he'll be he'll be sad if you die it's true. I will be sad. All As right. You guys are going. Are you guys on the new map out here, Austin? I no. I think I'm on the same map. Yeah. Uh, on... Yeah, we're still on the same map. Uh, what map? I don't know. We're on the What's map. map look like to you guys. With blue and orange, and it's. Uh, oh, see Domeo see... down here. Mm, yes. Domeo is at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys are by right, Domeo. That is the accurate map. Hey, Elvin, why don't you come over here? Okay. Anyway, well, the guy Michael, you're going to make us fight more shit, aren't you? Alligator, Possibly. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, who's going first as you come upon again? You recognize the original waystone over up here? Uh... Again, it's gonna be the the Yaslin, me, Marlin, and Domiel with Marlin. Okay, Yaslin, you could take the lead. Um, how are you guys proceeding? Quietly, calmly, in a rush? Quietly and calmly, I would say. Like, okay. let's try that not to give me self checks, flat everyone. And it's gonna be at minus three for everyone except Zeldrick. Oh, I just, I would say I have my armor on again. Let me equip it. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Yikes! A zero. None of us are very stealthy at this point. We're too tired. Oh. As you're going and you get towards roughly the center of the area. I'm gonna move you guys all in a little bit. If I could get on the right layer. Duh. Moving stuff is hard. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, you guys move yourselves to the center of the area. <laughs> As he 
you guys get towards the center. I'll, yep, pretty large crocodiles are going to start kind of pulling out their way out from the side. You've got to be kidding me! Jesus. Oh, uh, roll an issue. Jesus. Okay. Click, click, click. Do initiative. Yes. Uh, Arlen, you are first. I am indeed. Let me see. Um, oh, it's funny. I used a healer's kit. I have spared the dying. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I haven't looked at my cantrips in a while. <laughs> uh, well, at least if you die, someone else has an easy way to pick you up. And which way are we heading? Sunward? North. Shadeward? Sunward. Shadeward. Shadeward. It's Shadeward. <laughs> um, fuck it. So yeah, I'm going to... Right, Domiel, you got to run on your own. Have him hop off. And I'm going to cast... Uh, we're still fucked up, huh? Oh, yeah. Super fucks up. Yep. Got in bolt with the guy in front of us. Shit. Straight into the water. <laughs> that was very impressive to the mud. Square foot. Run. Wow, I went <laughs> five feet. What is going on? Hold on. It's not working properly. I'll just move it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, this is definitely runaway type. <laughs> and I <laughs> apparently end my turn. <laughs> uh, as that happens, uh, oh, that spell doesn't work. Is there happens. another one in the water? She's about to grab me by my toes. Hang on, let me see where we move. Oh, thanks for noticing that. I'll make a dexterity check. Who, me? Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, check or save? Save. I always say check. I'm glad you guys always figure out that I meant save. 19. As you get forward, um, you easily jump as the alligator kind of shoots forward from the water, but misses you substantially. These motherfuckers. Damn, this is ridiculous. Alright, that ends my turn. Just As you're going, Domiel is going to cast Arms of Hadar. Ooh. Sounds fancy. Invoke Power of Hadar, Dark Tendrils, blah 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 blah. All creatures within 10 feet of. Oh! Okay, he's not going to cast that. I misunderstood what that spell does. Instead, he's just going to cast uh, uh, Eldritch Blast twice. That's always a good one. Hell yeah. He's just going to take shots at the one that came out of the water just now. Alright, you can see some as the black ilk crashes against the side of this creature. Uh, it looks like they guy. have seaweed hair. Like, they want it's long hair, you know? Uh -huh. yeah, I look so pretty. Hard to get in the front. <laughs> now that you say that, I can see that now. <laughs> wow. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Now I'll direct this crocodile is going to start moving towards you, and whoop, that's the wrong button. It's going to try and bite you. Oh, thank hey. the lord. That misses. You just got to take a step back. Uh, yeah, so it's your turn. <clears throat> okay. Running. Oh, 
holding an action until one gets in within range to get the trident. Okay. Speaking of which, this one's gonna get in range. Roll your attack. Yeah. Okay. You got it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You you. You kind of just like prod it back, and it doesn't seem to be quite threatening enough as this one goes in to try and bite you. Eighteen. Yep, that hits. And it just gets a good hook on your leg. <sighs> um, target's grappled, escape DC 12. Uh, until the grapple ends, you are strained, and another crocodile can't bite you. Elder, that is your turn. Yep. Uh, so, he's going to look at the crocodile and burst into butterflies and insects. <laughs> And reappear over here, and then continue running off the screen. <laughs> like fuck this. <Bye. laughs> the crocodile actually, near Eldrick. Or, hold on, hold ahead. on. Before I do that, actually, before I run all away, I'm gonna appear right there. I drug myself off the screen, so I don't know where I went. Uh. I'm back. I'm going to appear right here. And then I'm going to cast a spell. And I'm going to cast uh, Ray of Frost at this one. Okay. And I'm going to miss. And then I'm going to run away. I bet. <laughs> Um, crocodile from down here is going to make its way up, and the crocodile next to Marlin is going to try and eat Marlin. That's kind of rude. Run, guys! Oh, run! Run! Try uh, 21. Oh, fuck you! Yes, it hits. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, it's in damage. Ouch. As this one just stomps down on, gets a good bite on you. I'm going to have to come back. You're both <sighs> fucking grappled now. Am I grappled? Okay. Or do I have to do a check? Yeah, you're grappled. DC 12 to get ungrappled. Um, Eldrick, as you run forward, you notice a fair bit of rustling in the forest in front of you. Give me a perception check. Son of a bitch. Where did I die? We're all dead. Yeah. Seven. You're right, sorry, you're sure what you're looking at. But you do recognize the sound of bowstrings being pulled. No. And don't think too much about what's making this attack, as I don't have a creature made for this, but you are going to see as a large number of arrows spring forward from the forest. Oh, is it helpful arrows this time for once? I would hope so. And that is a shit ton of damage. Of which, at least the owl crocodile in front of Marlin is going to just get feathered completely and drops dead. Good. Thank God, finally. People are here to help. <laughs> I think as I think <laughs> the arrows come flying out of the freaking trees, I like cover my head like, fuck! Wait. Oh shit! Um, Shmarna, it is your turn. It is my turn. <laughs> Time to... Oh, um... Uh, yeah, they're, they're taking care of that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I know there's not room. I'm gonna action and dash. Run and dash. Uh, just a reminder. Yeah, then it is grappled right now. Just she's, a reminder. She's strong. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rude. valid. I don't know you guys understand, or you understand, uh, Michael. We're never worried about freaking Yasley. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> 
only time we're ever worried about Yaslin is whether or not she can save us from whatever we've gotten ourselves into. Ooh, she gets grappled by two. Yeah, that would be bad. Then I would have to come yeah, back. Grappled right. by two. Um, that being said, you do have minus three, and I don't believe you're raging yet. Just a reminder. I did rage. Oh, you did? Yeah. Good to know. Never mind. And it says that the crocodile can't bite another target, but other crocodiles could grapple him. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Never mind. That would be bad. That would be really yeah. bad. It would be really bad. It wouldn't be ideal. Sorry. I'm within range of her still, even with my... Me dad. too. I'm so close enough that I could hit him with a fireball if necessary. Yeah. Okay, are you doing anything else for your turn, Marlin? Um, no. Yeah, I did my action and my dash. Or my dash. Okay. Um... Which is my action. Domil is going to be right behind you, and as he's running, he's going to cast Eldritch Blast twice. For which both hit. Uh... The other crocodiles. Hmm? This one. Feels like it could get close enough. So that's going to be. This one's going to come over and try and also take a bite out of Yaslin. No, sir. It's a bad crocodile! <laughs> you kind of uh, just like step on its snout as it tries to open. That's right. Yaslin, that is your turn. Uh, so DC what do I have to do to get... Free if you try in that. Okay, yeah. So is it a strength check? Uh, uh... We're going to go with yes because it doesn't say. My god. Use a luck point. Like... Uh, use going... a lot of luck points because you have minus I'm... three. Okay, yeah. how oh, wait, about... Oh, actually you make that. Do uh, you have advantage, advantage on strength, on strength checks? Check. Yes. Okay. So, so I make it? Yep. Yeah. Minus three brings you to 12, which is a strike, so... Okay. You make it. Okay. Does that take up my action? I probably yeah. should. Yes, it does. You have to use Ugh. your action to break free you from You still have the... movement. You could take the opportunity to attack against you. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to freaking run away, so I'm going to try. Okay. Wait, do they get grapples if they succeed at their opportunity? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. They're both going to make attacks of opportunity at disadvantage because of your subclass. Twelve and five. One bites the other one. <laughs> no, twelve doesn't hit. Okay, as you go through, you hop freely as they both try and just... Well, as he says, one bites the fucking other. <laughs> High right knees, there. Yaslin! High knees! <laughs> as you make your way into the forest, the one that didn't bite the other is going to... Probably figure out that this isn't worth trouble, and they're going to start dispersing. Well, this what happens with alligators when they bite one another. They start fighting then, and then now there's just a big crocodile fight, and you know, I'm just I'm, I have no idea if that's how that works. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> Let me see if this one hits. Nah, this one no. like tries and bite back, and it's like fuck this and leaves. <laughs> As you guys clear your way into the forest, and the crocodiles begin dispersing. Do I see who's in the forest now? Yes. Um, a UNT with jagged blue tattoos on its face is going to appear in front of you. Ooh, we know. Or we do I know this UNT? I am not sure. Probably is it not. Bola? Um, at, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Marlin will. Um, these are the three UNT who have been keeping, been being used as scouts at the town. Are those uh, the ones that snubbed me? Yes. Fuckers. <laughs> uh, hey, they're helping, so hey, look at that. Um, thank as you for your help. face peers out, and its tongue kind of just like wisp in front of it, and you say so. It's going to kind of sink back into the forest and whisper out they're expecting you back 
I hope he could make it the rest of the way. Yeah. I mean, if there's no... Oh, wait, before we go, keep your eyes out. Um, for a very scary-looking goblin, very good at camouflage, has a really powerful bow, assassinated a couple people. Um, yeah, be wary. Uh, good luck, and we're gonna run away. You want to steal with the one you have now? No, no, that one's good. He's uh, with us. He's um, a defector. In fact, he helped save us from the other goblin. Told us he was chasing us and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. This is a good goblin. He pats him on the head. And we need him for intel. That's easy. say. And you don't hear them go away, but you imagine they aren't <laughs> there anymore. Yeah. Um, you owe me. Yeah, you like saved your life. The UMT might be more receptive to this than the rest of them. Potentially. Maybe we can hide him in their camp if, if everything else goes poorly. As but, you continue, it is officially night now, but relatively speaking, it's safe going. Go on. I was just going to say, but we have to get to town before we can worry about that. And make my way towards town. The following probably about two hours is a pretty light track. You're familiar and the UNC have, seems to have cleared a pretty decent way. Or made it seem like there's Inconvenient for the wildlife that would otherwise harass you. As far as you can tell, the Ashen Goblin is no longer harassing you either. As far as you can tell. As far as we can tell, of course. Uh, you got so like make perception checks by all means. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Yes. Marlin ain't fucking around. I am traumatized. <laughs> this well, crit is regardless of yes. negatives, right? Yeah. Uh, that near... Uh, with all that alligator, it's got my adrenaline going. <laughs> what do I see? You can hear everything right now. <laughs> and for the longest time... Like the last day and a half, it felt like you did not have a moment of peace. But for all that matters, see you in the world. You can fall asleep right now, and Good. well, maybe I'll put it as the way uh, Minecraft says: you can't sleep when there are enemies nearby, and you can sleep right now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> all right. I think at least now that we're near to town, we're pretty. The storm has passed for the moment. Well, we made it. Too bad we didn't uh, couldn't save the the moron brigade, but yeah. I don't know why I have to go back. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. As you guys get to the river crossing, um, it seems like there's a few people standing guard over at the um, bay or the little port they have set up. Yeah. And as you approach, um, I think his name was Genny. Genny is there, waves you over. Uh, glad to see you all made it back. <laughs> Though I don't see any company you were hoping to bring. Well, uh, uh... No, um, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yaslin is just, like, biting at, like, she is almost delirious, I'm just saying. Like, she would fight anybody right now. Like, anything is going to annoy her. Uh, it's been a long couple of days. Um, we did happen to find a helpful, a new goblin friend um, who is attempting to defect. And uh, we need to make sure that he stays safe to get him back to uh, Dirge. Um, is there any way that you could maybe call off your your hounds? I know that they're, they're trained to search for these kind of individuals but uh we would really appreciate it if you could help us out here 
I can see, like, he looks a bit surprised at that request. Um, how about we get across and I'll figure out something. Absolutely. Uh, yes, let's get across. As you board the little ferry boat and start crossing, you can see him, like, the little rat in his brain is going full capacity, trying to figure out, like, A, what the fuck he just heard, and B, what the fuck do about it. <laughs> That's a bit unusual of, uh, circumstances. He's gonna look at the small guy. Well, I just say, imagine how we felt! I mean, it wasn't <laughs> every day that you just have a goblin come up to you and be like, Hey, there's an evil goblin chasing you guys, trying to kill you, and then, uh, give you all kinds of really important information about the goblin's positions and stuff like that. I mean, this guy is just a dirge of, of useful information. As he's scratching his head, uh, he's going to go. So you want him in the town without being killed? Yep. Yeah, that's yes. about it. Yeah, Do you have is... wax in your ears? Hmm? He's going to check his ears real quick. Uh, a little bit. And keep in mind who's asking this. We're not just random... <laughs> Fellows, we've helped protect this town. We're not going to put it in danger. Yeah. By the I way, mean, yeah, give me an intimidation check just because of you. With being advantage? You. <laughs> because of what we said? With advantage. Okay. As he makes that little quip and he, could, he looks at you and like makes a very loud swallowing sound like, maybe I shouldn't fuck around right now. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll figure out something. Um, I don't really have the power to do that, but I could go up and talk to Well I'll tell you we could I could either have you hide out hide him out with the townspeople and we won't say nothing, but as far as the town at a wider scale, you'll have to talk to that merchant lady. Honestly, I think I can I can uh do the talking to the leaders of the town. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't reporting that we were trying to smuggle in a goblin or anything. We wanted to be up front from the beginning. Alright. Yeah, we can do that. I'll go in with you guys. Sounds good. As also, be guys... careful. Go be careful with her. She hasn't slept very much, and she's real fond of this goblin. So, just remember, if anything happens, you're gonna really piss her off. <laughs> Gotcha. I remember what she does to things. <laughs> As you approach the gate, um, Guinea is going to be up front with Eldrick, and he's going to wave over to the two guards. Hey, we got some visitors back. Uh, they want to see Aria. I think her name's Aria. I think so, too. The merchant lady. Um, uh, I don't even know where to go from here. You don't worry about it. Trick. Don't worry about it. We'll take it from here. Thank you for your help. Um, listen, guys. Uh, I'm sure you guys remember us. We're the ones that kind of saved your town. So, obviously, what I'm about to tell you, make sure you understand that it wouldn't make any sense for us to want to do any harm to the town. Anyways, our friend here, his name's Domiel. He came to us and uh, really helped us out of a bind earlier. Uh, there was an evil goblin trying to kill us. He well, fucking... I'll be right there. Um, the merchant lady said just to let you through. That's what I thought. Uh, All right. We don't give a shit past that. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> uh, could you get us some like really nice rooms? We haven't slept in about three days. We got tents. That's fine. Uh, Does, it have a... Does it have a bed? Sometimes. Just go talk to the merchant lady. I'm sure she has better shit for you. And we just start walking past <laughs> As you go through the town, you can see a few of the guards. Now, um, most of the hounds are on, like, the outside of the gate right now, so you don't have any particular trouble getting through the rest of the town. Yeah. As you show up near the center of town the merchant lady whose name is uh, if anyone has a remember what the merchant lady's name is I do not. now's a good chance for a free luck point 
Yeah, let me see if I can. Uh, I have notes as to whether or not that is part of the. Oh, um, no. Emergent guy sitting up. Nope. Uh, Benezia? No, that's who she works for. Damn it. <laughs> um. Aina Mio? I mean, that's well within the reason of possibility. Aina. I'll go with Aina. Aina. Okay. Because I have that written down. I don't have any context to it, but it's definitely written <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, immediately after this, I'm going to immediately find the name and be like, oh, well, that is not remotely the right person. <laughs> Anyways, we walk up to her and say, Beds, please. Ah, oh, pleasure to see you again. Yes, please, right this way. And she'll lead you towards a central Let's camp. Fair, we probably look like shit. Yeah, just fucking dirty, covered in blood. Yeah. Got <laughs> arrows exhausted. half in our chest still. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Would yeah. you like to be seen by... Well, a uh, medical professional, Maybe per in se. the morning. Uh, in the morning, we just need to sleep. Like, seriously, just give us a, a pillow and a soft place to lay down and come check on us in the morning. Yeah, okay. And he'll leave you at the top of, once again, the room we had stayed at previously, this tent, which is rather gorgeous. Best tent you've ever stayed in. Especially right now, as you all find your spots and rest for was it the purple one i believe going on two to two and a half days of travel possibly yeah. more just immediately like like slumped over to the fucking bed and just fall over <laughs> okay good job guys i'm proud of all of you that we survived that fucking nightmare yeah i'm happy to be alive <laughs> i wasn't sure we were i was actually nervous when i fucking I was like, if I get hit again, I'll probably die. You know what's absolutely ridiculous? Is I only have uh, 27 hit points. That yeah. one attack <laughs> almost fucking oh my God. took all of my hit points. I believe it. It stopped raining. I have, I have some ideas of stuff that I need when we get back to the fucking... <laughs> You're like, experience has led me to believe I need a few things. Yes, exactly. Um... Yeah, so we go to sleep. Uh, what time is it for you guys? Nine o'clock. Uh, nine, 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 nine twelve. Uh, all right, we'll talk about morning, and then we'll probably call it there as you guys That's wake up to whatever goddamn hour you guys want to. Right, I can get a long oh, rest. Oh, yeah, we... Yes. You all got Yay. a long rest. <laughs> it's been years. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah. Where is it at? I mean, to be honest, I think our morning consists of like eat some food, let everyone know. As you wake up, there is actually a very large platter of food just left there for you at the entrance of the room. Nice. Pretty cool, or my shit. Yeah. So Exhaustion's food, gone, right? No. You, level up. you have one per exhaustion per rest, I believe. Oh, shit. Alright. So, so now have... you guys are down to two exhaustion. Minus two. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, uh, so, once everyone wakes up, we're all eating our breakfast. Like, so what do you guys think? Do we want to hang out here for a couple of days before we head back to Dirge? Or do we yes. want to get started heading back now i think we should stay here till we're fully recuperated my wounds haven't fully healed yet okay i think that's not a bad idea only only thing is even if we convince these people that uh domiel is safe the dogs don't care really so we're gonna yeah. have to deal with that for the we'll just have days. them do their patrol <laughs> away from the tent that's domiel yeah could stay here okay. 
Yeah, I say we stay in this tent for two days. And obviously just... we can't leave Domiel in the tent. We don't want anyone hurting him. Agreed. So. Yeah, basically I think we just kind of hang out. Like, I think we have, like, some stuff we need to discuss once we get back to town, but I don't know if we really need to do all of that right now. As your day is going and you're all at a rather leisure play pace, um, pretty much the first day one of the merchant ladies aides is always available to give you guys a hand. Hot water, food, etc. You notice that at a certain point the dogs are being kept away from this area. Good. At one point the aide will bring up to you guys when you feel rested um insert name of lady here would like to speak to you <laughs> <laughs> for sure um I mean I think we could probably go deal with that now if you guys are ready that's fine yeah we'll head over in that direction we take Domia with us right oh she'll meet you here Oh, good. Oh. Sounds good. After a short while... God, what did he say her name was? Um... Ina. Ina. Yep, that name's gonna be forgotten in a moment. Ina's gonna show up. And... You'll find a comfortable... Ah, oh, she will probably sound for this. I'm glad to see you've all returned safely. I hope your accommodations are to your liking. Yeah, They're good enough for now, for sure. As I understand, your companion, and she's now begging towards Domiel, who's splayed out on the floor, is a goblin. That is correct. That is, uh, that is correct. By all means, that is not a problem for us. Um, and she's going to think for a moment. He's welcome to stay here as long as you require, Lord Eldrick. As always, my, or the merchant lord, Benezia, is quite invested in your success. If this is a part of your success, then we can make it work. Also, insight check? I just want to make sure she's being up and up. Nah, go ahead. Now she means every word she says. Hell yeah. Okay. At least on her part. Well, that's my kind and awesome. I was expecting a little bit more of a back and forth. So this is very convenient. <laughs> Me too. I was definitely not expecting this level of a cooperation. So I appreciate... Uh, you making it easy for us. By all means, I'm sure you under... Lord Benezia would be very appreciative of any... She's gonna uh, think about her words. Actually, I'm thinking about my words because uh, there's a word I want to use, but I can't fucking think of it. Anyways. <laughs> any support out here that Lord Eldrick can provide has always been towards our advantage. I'd like to believe that deal is continuing into the future. Absolutely. I will say, uh, we did find some things kind of out in the wilderness that we're going to need to take care of, and uh, this is all, this town is a perfect kind of launching point for that kind of uh, operation, so I wouldn't... Our goal's uh, Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you received a lot more help in the, in the coming weeks, months. Um, I would like to hear more on your journey down that way. As you know, we are trying to get a hold of a ship, and to understand a little bit of what we may face down there might change what we look for in our ship. Well, I will say this. Uh, we did find a couple of um, goblin 
I guess you could call them ships. Uh, makeshift floating devices is probably more yeah, accurate. Yeah, they're like shitty rafts with sails. <laughs> um, but don't start taking notes. <laughs> that is something that you guys should pay attention to. Um, I'll give her the coordinates of that uh, that goblin camp that we saw. Um, but most that important, is <laughs> it is most importantly. Um, it appears that one of the goblins' camps kind of overthrew their hob, and that may have caused um, unexpected results. But suffice to say, there is a specific goblin, unlike many of the others. I actually already warned your scouts about it before we came into town, but uh, it is definitely something that... Uh, you should uh, be cautious of. Yeah, he wasn't quite yeah. hob. He wasn't quite goblin. You could say he was a hob goblin. <laughs> Hang on. That was my like girl for her. <laughs> see if she takes like, psychic damage. <laughs> you could see her like give a kind of look and continue on. Have you been able to <laughs> tell any of its motivations, what it does or looks after? It seems very crafty. It likes to set traps, and it's almost like a hunter. Um, think of, like, any typical kind of uh, crafty scout or hunter, and then just think of what one of those would do if it was super evil. That's about That's the... A... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think in a place like this, as long as it... I think the issues are if, like, you have people on patrols, they're more susceptible. Holding yeah. hold fast, I think, is not much of a problem against it as long as you, you know, you're here. But the thing is, this thing is relentless. Like, it seemed like it did not need to rest or sleep. It was constantly after us. And it likes to set traps. It seems very crafty. However, it also seems a bit of. I wouldn't. I don't know if I want to call it a afraid like cowardly but it's uh definitely doesn't like uh front on like head head on confrontation so i think if it's outnumbered or out uh gunned or outclassed it'll run away that is very useful information <laughs> all right as you all have been exposed to the river is Let's say, for instance, you had a choice of a ship to go down. What would you look for in a ship? That is a Marlin question. <laughs> so, okay. Well, uh, considering that this is not like what I'm used to doing, uh, the things I'd be thinking about is if we're dealing with goblins, we have to worry about incoming attacks from the sad arrows. So some sort of uh, maybe a uh, movable wall, not like in a sense, like something that can be pulled up, like a barricade that can be pulled up from the ground up, but it's also light enough to maneuver if needed, um, to block any incoming arrows, like a shield wall that can be deployed vertically. Um, I'm thinking definitely we would need people on the boats that have like long spears of some sort to stab at any large gators and considering that you might need a bit of a some sort of integrity on the hull you don't want giant gators just smacking it with the tail and breaking it and would you agree marlin that probably like smaller more maneuverable vessels over kind of like the bigger kind of bulkier vessels well i wasn't seeing too many stones or anything but we didn't really navigate the river far ahead so part of me is like, maybe bulkier is better, doing the nature of the shit we ran into. But if they did come across um, rocky ways that tend to be in rivers, not that I'm super acquainted with, I think maybe somewhere in between. Understood. Thank you very much for your input. And with that, she will 
give you all a gracious bow. You are welcome to the rest here as long as you need. And the offer stands if you need to leave your companion here. As I probably uh, a good idea leave. considering there's a goblin headhunter over there. And she'll give you a bow and leave. <laughs> Sounds good. I think we'll stay here for like two or three days. To, to get these uh, <laughs> exhaustion points with. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know what's going to happen between here and Me the other place either. That goblin can I'm worried that that fucking goblin's going to fucking wait outside of town for us to leave. Anyways. Yeah, at least they Not know to be on guard. So. Mm -hmm. Not that you should get any ideas, douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, as the days go through, you don't hear any odd reports. That's you can good. take that for what you will. I just, I have a, I have this, um, this feeling that this goblin is not going to let it go. Like, I feel like one, it's kind of like one of those situations, like, when it, with like, a. It's like a rabid dog or something like that. Once it gets the taste of a certain blood, it's going to hunt it until it kills it. I have a feeling that that's kind of how this goblin is. Like, you notice that it kind of went out of its way to make sure it killed the, the two people that we found. Yeah. And kind of once it accomplished that, it kind of backed off. That's true. Like ahead of Vendetta. Mm-hmm. But we've heard it. And they didn't even really do that. I have a feeling he's not pleased with us that we're going to be like a target going forward. Well, we did see those goblin heads, and assuming that it was them, right? It could, yeah. and if it was a goblin from that village, it could have been just that, that it just wanted them dead. Regardless if we were trying to protect them, clearly they hated goblins. They tried to kill them. They wanted to kill Domio real bad. So that yeah. he, for all we know, maybe he wasn't after us. We were just getting in the way. Maybe. I hope you're right. But I don't. Yeah, me I too. Have... I, <laughs> then the fantasy in my head is that maybe he's a good guy. <laughs> well, as good as he can get. <laughs> Considering it almost killed the shit out of him. I just look at you with this like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, this one's a stretch. I, I get, I know. Tell me, it loosened me up to possibilities, but yeah, I think once we get to, uh, once we get back to Dirge, maybe we can see if they'll send somebody out to go hunt it down. Probably not us, but uh, we'll see what happens from there. Yeah. As far as today's session goes, I believe now is a good stopping point. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm, just I'm saying, glad you guys survived. If we have a hob <laughs> on our side, that could be very helpful. <laughs> it could be. It definitely could be. That's why I say that we turned Domiel into one. <laughs> Fair. I mean, <laughs> if it turns out to be true that that guy's good, if we get confirmation, then yeah, turn Domiel into one. <laughs> I'm not actually. I'm. I'm only partially joking when I say that. Like, if we find out, I don't think that guy's good. I think Domiel is a separate situation. But if we do find out that killing a hob turns you into a more powerful goblin, I'm not entirely joking that maybe we get Domiel to kill a hob at some point. Yeah, I don't know if it's good or. I think it's more nuanced than that. I think that goblin up. If the hobs were in charge, yeah, he was probably killing for the sake of the hob. And then so he finally, they won against the hob. He gained hob powers or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, he killed humans. I don't think it was like, like yeah, I hate humans. But there's probably that normal, he's got to figure out that line too. And to be fair, he didn't seem like he was trying to attack us too much after. Agreed. But we were I say seeing... so. And he did attack him, but that's because... Um, uh, Domiel attacked first. I will say this. Josh, like me, not not Eldrick, 
kind of sees where you're going with that. Uh, and, like, it could be a strategy thing. Eldrick, I think, would never, like, I don't think that is a thought process that would enter his <laughs> brain. Like, yeah. well, you know that's what why I mean? Marlin will be doing it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He will at least so you'll have saying. to convince him of that, but I totally see where you're going with yeah, that. One step, might time, actually, one step at a time. One step at a time might be a smart thing to actually kind of like maybe try to communicate with it if you will yeah if Just we ever see it again idea. that bitch probably i'm telling i feel very confident we will see this goblin again i oh, am no. too oh no <laughs> <laughs> you don't put a goblin or a, a, a character like that into the game and then just be like all right good job you yeah, guys yeah. got away that's true it's gone forever <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we will see that goblin again. 